What's going on guys? Sync Wavy back again with some more Master Duel and we out here clapping Drytron. Like it's funny, like I watched the video I can't remember his name. Is it Bojan? Um he was facing Drytron as well, like a lot. And when I hit plat five, that's the only thing I saw. <laughs> I was just like, what? Like, is this this like dry trying heaven or something? Like, what's going on, bro? Um, but yeah, here are the decks. This this guy was a plat one dry tron player, so he must be good, right? <laughs> he must be that good. But yeah, it's just it's just the deck carrying his his ass, man. Like, let's be real, man. Like these these guys, some of them obviously you will run into obviously really good players, but yeah, I mean, bruh, like well, well, that's what I gotta say is bruh, like let's just have a look, let's watch this thing, man. Plat one dry chum player playing a tier two deck, literally the second best deck as well. Like it's in tier two. But it's literally the second best. According to Master Dumel, like it's the second best deck. I don't know, it might have changed, but last time I checked it was the second best. And these dudes hate they hate dry they hate Max E bro, so he's gonna go ahead and ash blossom that. And I hate, I hate that. I hate when they ash blossom it. It's like that's when you face like good dry charm players. They always have, they always have ash in hand, bro. <laughs> always have ash. They always have cool by the grave. It's crazy, bro. So look at me, poor old dark magician. That's not even considered rogue, rogue tier in this game, which is kind of like. I feel like it, it come on like it has to be like it must be like fight in the edge of rogue tier like it has to be bro like if I was, wasn't rogue tier would I be able to beat these dudes like and I don't I'm not just beating these guys like I'm clapping them bro I'm literally playing an inferior deck like the second, the second game, the guy, the guy summoned the ultimate that's on me, bro, and I beat him still. So watch the plays, man. Pay attention to the plays. Most of you dark magician players know what I'm doing. We're gonna, we're gonna do a bonds play here. I should have banished this, didn't read it, honestly. I barely see Drytron players summon this. I didn't realize it was not once per turn, so I was just like, okay, not once per turn. It just, anytime it gets target for an attack, it just negates it. So I'm like, okay, so you had two negates for attacking. I should have banished this. This guy, he's only going to target one, right? I should have kept this on the field, basically. And just banish this. But, whatever, mistakes were made, but it doesn't matter that much. Because I feel like I'm in control, just because I have Dark Burning Magic and Skill Drain. So he's going to go in the night girl, he wants to Zeus. I literally have this card in my deck. I'll have the, the deck profile at the end of the video. So check it out because this deck is spicy. I'm like, I'm basically, it's basically the deck that I, I said was like the best way to play. And honestly, one dark magician bro is Bro, it's working so well for me, bro. Like, 
I'm not advising anyone to do this, but if you're a Chad like me, then go ahead. <laughs> so I did this to bait Ash. I did that to bait to see if he had an Ash, because that's not the play I wanted, really. It would have been nice if it went through, but this was the real play. Going into Rod. Going into the Dark Magician. I'm going to attack my Dark Magician and bring it back and banish this card. So. I did actually misplay earlier, I don't know if you saw it. When he targeted this to grab it, all I should have did was flip the turn of soul instead of like trying to dark burn the magic. I should have just flipped the turn of soul. I thought he was targeting my dark magician girl. But I should have just flipped the turn of soul and basically he wouldn't be able to yoink my dark magician. And we we probably had a diff we probably have a different play, you know what I'm saying? We probably would have went with a different play if we had dark magician to go on the field. I will probably would have linked it off and then banished it anyway like that. But it's fine. We, we're still in a controlling position. Because we're going to Nightmare Phoenix because I know this, I know this is a dead card, but yeah, it is cross out designator. So he that would have negated my maxi. Most likely. Because he, he hasn't used the maxi, has he? Oh, he has. And he only has one as well. But hey, he could have had two, right? Never know. But yeah. So, getting rid of the cross out doesn't matter. Was okay. You know, I wanted to get it off the field. I did, it didn't hurt me to do so anyway. Because I'm putting Dark Magician in the graveyard. And I'm putting the Rod in the graveyard. So when I bring that magician, you know, put it on the field, banish a card, activate rod, bring rod back to my hand, then we got more players. So I'm just gonna chain a turn of soul. Cause this guy says this guy says Quick effect, you can detach one material from this card and negate the activation that you do to destroy it. Oh, I forgot to say. You can send one Drytron card from your deck to the graveyard. When your opponent activates a spell or a trap card while you control a machine ritual, right? Which he would end up doing, like he would be able to negate and destroy like the circle or the eternal soul. So I didn't want that to happen. So I'm bringing out my Dark Magician to banish this card. And as you can see, change uh, Rod, grab the Rod back. So I get further plays. So we're, we're looking nice right now, honestly. We've got two negates. Ice Dragon Prism is so good, so good. He got Nibiru now as well, we drew into Nibiru. So this is actually going to be how we clear his fields. But I probably should have waited. I probably should have waited. No, I probably should have waited 100%. Like, because my turn of soul is about to pop my uh, Nibiru. But it's still fine. Because we've got Rod in the hands, you know, we got the Dark Magician and the Dark Magician go in the graveyard. Yeah. So we're going to grab, we don't even need to grab it, we draw it. Soul Servant, so now we can grab something else, but he is going to negate with Forbidden Droplets. So I'm like, okay, that's still fine, I guess, because I drew Soul Servant anyway, lucky for me. Honestly, if he, if I didn't draw Soul Servant, I would have just upside Goblin, and I would have drawed the Soul Servant anyway. 
even though I didn't know, <laughs> I would have drew it anyway, right? But then I wouldn't be able to immediately grab the Eternal Soul. So obviously, I would just have to be. I would just probably set the Imperms and then Magicalize Fusions anyway, right? That was going to be my play anyway. Magicalize Fusion, destroy, attack. You know, he doesn't out it. Then obviously. Soul Servant, you know, I would have drew into my uh, Eternal Soul, and it, I was in the commanding lead, bro. Like, that's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I was in the lead, bro. I should have banished the rod instead of the dumb mission girl, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Tries to negate, but hello, I got caught by the grave in the hand. See, cross art designated wouldn't have helped there. So, good job I had the actual caught by the grave. And he scoops! Yeah, I was in the commander lead there, like, there was pretty much nothing he could do. And that is me clapping. Drash one player. <laughs> and well that was a dry trump player number one. Dry trump number player two is a rank five uh yeah, he's a plat five. That was a plat one dry trump player, by the way. Um that's pretty funny to me. But let's uh, have a look at the second dry trump player. This guy actually summoned the Herald on me. But like on a real year, like Dark Magician is not officially classed as a rogue tier deck. But in my opinion, especially this version that I'm playing with, it feels really good. Like I clap Eldridge with this, I've clapped Drytron with this, I've clapped Tri Brigade, I've clapped Sky Striker, I've clapped uh, prank kids, like all the top tier decks, I've clapped with this deck. I've clapped with the other decks too, but this one, this version, just feels so much better because I just have less bricks in my hand most of the time. Like, unluckily, like I've drawn Dark Magician, but this is I've only got one, so most of the time this is in my deck. Like, I would say. 80% of the time, this is in my deck. Same goes for Dark Magician Girl. And that's what you want to see. You want, you, you want to see like your hand traps and rod and uh, Magician Souls. That's basically what you want to see in your, in your opening hand. And maybe a call by the grave. So you, or a cross out designator so you can negate their ash from like negating your rod. Like, that's what your opening hand must have looked like, honestly. And maybe you, you get some trench or tribute, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it, you want to see this in your, your starting hand, like, you know what I mean? So, but like, we've kind of, like, saw out the problem of having Dark Magician in our hand. So, Dark Magician in the hand plus a rod goes into the Dark Magicians. So, we can draw. We, we've got a draw engine going and... You know, we've got you know more plays, grabbing Rod back and all that jazz. I'm gonna grab Soul Servant next. You know what I'm saying? Like Dark Magician Girl was in the graveyard. You know what I mean? Like we just but kinda like a like with this version mate, I noticed that I was drawing a lot. Like a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna flip a turn of soul. Um, a turn of soul. Sorry. Change a tribute to Boar White, and no one is going to negate, right? So in the end phase, I'm just hoping right now that's not a fairy, right? So what I have to do, I'm going to bait it to see if it is. So I'm gonna flip a turn of soul and not activate it. 
not activated because if he if he negated the flip and destroyed it basically what would happen is it would go to the graveyard but not destroy my dark magician and then i activated it because i flipped it and noticed his his side of the field lit up but he didn't do nothing so i was like all right he has nothing in the hand so now I'm safe to display and I'm basically gonna win because of that. So I basically took his only negate out of his hand. Because if you guys don't know, this guy just can keep negating as long as he has fairy is in his hand, which is stupid, right? Why does this card even exist? Come on, bro. They don't want to give us Dragoon, but you know, all these other guys have got their like crazy boss monsters. But guess what? We don't need Dragoon. All we need is a big brain. To make those big brain plays. But honestly, free Dragoon. Konami bro, just do it. Like, just do it. You know what? Another thing, what would be cool for from Konami is if they released like the Dark Magician support early, like the Illusion of Chaos. Because even then, uh, we we will probably be officially broke tier at that point. Like, just make it happen, man, right? Just make it happen. If we get Dragoon as well, then we might, might be tier 3. But, you know, we're still not the best deck in the game. I feel like that's fair, right? That's fair. Is that not fair, guys? You tell me in the comment section, bro. You play Master Duel, you play Dark Magician like I do. Like, this is the only deck I play, really. I have other decks, like Tri Brigade. Um... I got tunes. Like I got most of my decks that I have are not top tier. That like, it's only tri brigades, but I don't even play it. Like, honestly, I don't even play it. Like I don't even play it going up the ladder. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to um, play the ladder and go up the ladder with tri brigade and then like switch to dark magician and then go into plat one. And then say I'm a plat one dark magician deck. No, you're not, bro. Like you played other decks as well. So yeah, yeah, I'm playing a solely dark magician on this account. Solely dark magician, and I'm kind. I want to climb to plat one solely on dark magician. And then I can officially say you can officially say that this is a plat one worthy deck. Like most people, like. I'm not saying that everybody does it, but I feel like people that get a platform with Dark Magician, they play other decks to help them climb the ladder, and then they switch to Dark Magician, maybe to try and get the plat one, and then class it as a plat one Dark Magician deck. It's like, that's not true though, right? That's not true. Like, other decks helps you get up there. Me, I'm solely Dark Magician, bro. So, if you guys want to see solely Dark Magician get to plat and higher, I'm going out to plat one. This is the channel. I'm, I don't post uh, a lot of Master Duel, but if I, I'm the one that's going to do it, I'm the one that's going to do it, right? If anyone. I'm the one that's actually climbing the ladder purely on Dark Magician. Maybe Dark Magician variants, but this pure Dark Magician most of the time. The only variant I don't even have like invoked or anything like that. I'm just I'm just pure. I don't even have the Sky Striker engine or the Dogmatic. Uh, like I don't play any of that. Like I'm playing pure Dark Magician. Okay. <laughs> but even that, like they, the guys that play dogmatic like use that dogmatic engine like it's still dark magician like don't get it twisted like 
they're still doing their thing, bro. Like, like, like Loza. I think Loza uses it. Uh, obviously, I recommend watching his stuff as well because he doesn't just do master duel. He does actual TCG stuff, which kind of shows you where Dark Magician is currently in real life versus what is in master duel, and you kind of get a grip of where we're at and what we really how we should build our decks and everything you know like the ratios and everything that's why you'll see in a minute my profile and my ratios and stuff but anyway that is that is the games and i and i'm gonna check out my profile 